All right, I'm back with Elizabeth South here, and uh, we're in Nashville. Yep, we're in Nashville. Which is amazing. This is the first time, well, actually the second time, that we've uh, officially, second, yeah. Yeah, officially met. Um, we've been talking for years, and of course, you were on the show. But through just the, through the phone. Yeah, through the phone. Yeah, so it's, it's really neat. Really cool to meet you in person, like not just online. I know, which is crazy, you know, because uh, when you're talking to somebody online for... So it been like five years? Five years. Then yeah. uh, <laughs> some, at some point you're like, is this person like real? real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or are they just a picture? <laughs> and sometimes a video. And sometimes a video. Uh, so <laughs> so it has been, uh, it's been great to be able to meet you in person. Thank you. And here we are in the studio. Studio. Yeah. Yep. This is called the Gibbons House. And there's some exciting stuff going on. Yeah, I'm working on some new music. Yeah, it's been, I've been keeping it under wraps. Keeping little. it under wraps? No one's supposed to know about it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I have um, uh, another album of, like, the Do It Afraid one, and I have a song that I recorded off the Mysteries that I never released, and then some of the songs off Do Afraid that we didn't release. I decided to put them on, like, a third album, so those have already been done. There's about five songs and their worship and different kind of in the same vein as what I've done. And but I'm back here now to work on some more like don't give up on your love songs because okay. my students really liked that song. They kind of went crazy over it. They're like, "Oh, I love the song. Could you please do more stuff like that?" And um so I decided I would I'm going to do a six pack a six pack of <laughs> <laughs> of some Let's see, rock, we'll explain that. <laughs> rock, yeah, rock is the going thing now. Yeah. Rock, dance, um, club type songs. Something I'm just doing that's different that I, things, it's something I really enjoy, but it's different from what I've done before, except for Don't Give Up on Your Love. And what kind of response have you had <clears throat> off of the previous album with Don't Give Up? Well, um, a lot of great response on the Do It Afraid album, but I, I tend to find that a lot of my fans, if you want to call them fans, um, it's kind of like... <laughs> they are, they are. They are fan, <laughs> fans and uh, several thousand fans. Yeah, well, it's been fun, and I, they've been very supportive. I've had some people that heard Don't Give Up on Your Love, and they're like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> like, freaking out. Like, I like your slow stuff better. <laughs> But um, the people that I'm working with, like here in Nashville, like um, guitar players and my producer Billy Smiley and all these people, we're all excited about this because we just think it's good for me to branch out and do something that's different and to challenge myself a little more. I've been training my vocals to I'm gonna be a little I'm gonna belt a little more on my vocals than some of the other. Not that anything that I've done is bad. It's mm -hmm. just I just like to try new things. I like to keep evolving and keep growing forward. I'm class I'm well, a classic rock fan. And I, I mean I love I like I'm a kind of a rocker at heart. So And you're also a Star Wars fan at heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just the, you know, things that you wouldn't think about me. People have this persona of me that everything I do is just kind of sweet and soft, but I mean that's not just who I am. That's the only There's side there's of me. more to Elizabeth South than meets the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I guess so. Well, and you too. Yeah, and yeah. You're a multifaceted person. That's true. Very funny and entertaining. <laughs> what? <laughs> Am I embarrassing you? <laughs> <laughs> Get your focus. Get focus, your center. Focus. Get your center. All right. I'm... All right. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you very much. You've you're always welcome. Been a, you're a welcome. Wonderful encouragement to me as well. So. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, that's I what. I try. That's what we do. That's what we do. Is. Uh, uh, Christians, you know, as we yeah. just encourage and lift one another up, you know, yeah. with our crafts and our arts, and uh, and right. it shows a, a sign of a great artist for you always stepping out and trying something different, taking risks, taking risks, yeah, yeah. One of my professors back when I was in drama school told me, he said, Elizabeth, you just need to take more risks. You you know, you kind of play it safe too much, and and I do, I do, do that. He actually thought I was funny. He thought I was like a comedian, like a Lucille Ball kind of person when I was acting. That's what he said. I reminded him of that. Well, you got great comedian. But he time. said I need to take more risks. That if I would just go for it, that I'd be 
funnier. And something. you're doing it. Well, not the Not right now. <laughs> you're not stepping on doing the funnier, but you are definitely taking the risk. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not promoting my comedic drama side right now, although I'm a drama teacher, so I've been told I have an expressive face. Yes. My face is expressive, mm -hmm. so I haven't really shown a lot of that even with my music, because sometimes I'll just talk and I'll be like, well, okay, everyone, come and listen to my music and all that instead of just talking. So it's nice to talk with someone, to mm -hmm. talk with you. Well, it's, uh, it's nice to be talking to you as well. <laughs> I was going to say, it's nice to be talked to. <laughs> it's nice to be talked to. <laughs> Thank you for talking with me. <laughs> All right, well, um, I think we have a little bit more that we're, uh, we're going to show. You want to interview Billy? Tell you what, let's Smiley. do it. Smiley, Billy. All right, well, uh, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. All right. All right, we're back, and here I am with Elizabeth South and Billy Smiley. Yeah. Billy, so nice to meet you. Good to meet you, yeah. Now, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I was with, many years ago, with a group called Whiteheart, and uh, have been awesome. just uh, producing and developing artists. That's my main passion right now. So. That's amazing. What, what are some of the uh, artists that you've developed over the years? Well, uh, back in the early days, more like uh, Stephen Curtis, Newsboys, Jeff Moore. In the distance? Yeah, and the yeah. distance. Not many people know about the oh, distance. Oh, I, I follow a yeah. lot of Christian music. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, he does. So just a few of them. So, but it's a pleasure to help with careers. So I enjoy that. Well, and I guess uh, being able to nurture a lot of those uh, artists and be able to see how they flourish is rewarding. Yeah, as well. it's great. Yeah, Elizabeth, it's fun to take it because the the whole music world is so unique right now it's mm -hmm. you know it's upside down it's changing and so uh just to determine how an artist gets heard and um you know promotes and markets and labels and the demise of labels all those things are very interesting in the last maybe 12 years it's you know it's been very creative and challenging in a lot of ways and what kind of advice would you like to give uh, for some of the young artists out there uh, like Elizabeth and others that yeah. are probably saying, I want to pursue something like this? Well, um, with the advent of uh, when you get home recordings, home videos, you know, a lot of that, they think, well, they can do it, mm -hmm. you know. And some people might be able to, but it still takes um, uh, professionalism. If God's given you a gift, you want to use that to the best of your abilities. Mm -hmm. And... Elizabeth is actually a good example who has just done everything. Um, I mean, she has a great fan base, more than some of the label artists. And, um, really? you know, you want to, uh, she, she really goes after it in a professional way. And I think, you know, most artists, if you have a good gift, you want to understand if your gift is that good, if you can compete. I mean, you see the voices in the American Idols and there's, you know, millions of people trying to be heard. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And so that's what's changed the industry a lot. So uh, it's kind of an interesting time. It's actually really cool because everything's up in the air. Anything can happen. Um, you just have to persist and persevere. Yeah. You know, those two words, I think. And Don't give up. That's right. That's Don't it. give up. That's Don't give up. That's a good one. Tie into your song. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank yeah. you, Billy, so oh, much. It's my pleasure for being here. And yeah. thank you, Elizabeth. You're um, welcome. So I tell you what. Why don't we go ahead and take a break? We'll be back later on in the program. Uh, you're watching Light Talk. Over at Steve Brewster's house, he's um, played for a lot of artists like Faith Hill and Taylor Swift and Lady Antebellum. And um, we're going to be laying down kind of a four on the floor club uh, beat to the songs that I've written. So, and we've got Matt Pearson here playing bass. So it's going to be pretty cool.
so cool. Yes, let's do it. Episode, make sure you check out Light Talk. <laughs> Elizabeth, what's going on? Uh, nothing. What? I'm just recording music. Oh. Awesome okay. music. Are we already finished with the episode? Mm, yeah. Oh. Pretty much. Okay. Well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, bye. Okay. It's nice meeting you in person. <laughs> <laughs>